what's up, it's Grace, and today I'm going to be doing the Disney book tag. This tag was created by Kat from Katie Tastic, so I will go ahead and link the original video down below if you guys want to go check that out. And I am in a different area, or I'm not in a different area, I'm actually just sitting down because my tripod is all duct taped out because it's been through some, some bad experiences. And I don't feel like putting it, in it through any more trauma, so we're just going to sit down and hopefully I can get a tripod in the near future. But this is the setup for as of right now. So let's get on with the questions. Question number one is the Little Mermaid. Pick a character who is out of their element or better known as a fish out of water. And for that, I'm gonna go with Alina from the Grisha Trilogy by uh, Lee Bardugo. Reason being because Alina is an orphan and she is in this army regiment, so she's never really known anything royalty. And then something arises and she's taken to kind of their court, and I guess you could call them royalty, and she's left to kind of figure it all out, and she's a lot more than she thought she was, and she's just flopping like a fish out of water. Not really. But in a way, in a way, kinda. So yes, I will go with her. Question number two is Cinderella. Pick a character who goes through a major transformation. And for that, I'm gonna go with Elisa, or I don't know if it's pronounced Elisa, from the Girl of Fire and Thorns trilogy by Ray Carson. Reason being because in the beginning of the novel, she has no self-esteem, no self-value. She just thinks she's very much not the chosen one, and she doesn't know why she's kind of put on this pedestal in a way and uh, she goes through this major journey of you know, self-discovery and also she goes through a physical transformation as well. And I thought that this was insane because Elisa or Elisa, from the beginning of this book to the end of this book, it's just such an obvious and amazing transformation that I thought Ray Carson did a very fabulous job of. And I have only read the, this first book and I need to read the next two because I can't imagine her transformation, you know, just from this book and then to see her at the end of this trilogy. I know it's just going to be mind boggling and I'm very excited to continue on. But yes, definitely her for this question. Number three is Snow White. Pick a book with an eclectic cast of characters. And for that, I'm definitely going with The Raven Boys by Maggie Seabotter. We have Blue, Gansey, Noah, Ronan, and uh, Adam. I think Adam is a little bit annoying, but I really appreciate his character and what his character adds to this storyline. And I think all of these characters, even um, Blue's mother and all of the people that live with Blue, they're just so interesting and so different from each other. Everyone is really diverse personality-wise, which I really enjoy. And um, I just, I love it so much and I I just adore this cast of characters. They're probably my favorite as of right now and Gansey and Blue and I love 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 Noah. I love Ronan. Ronan is he, I don't know if Ronan is my favorite kind of like indi individual side character. I mean I feel like they're all kind of side characters in a way. I don't really think there's like one main character in this but I love Ronan so much because he's just such a different character from anybody I've ever read about. There's just so many elements to him and when I think I kind of have gotten a grasp on his you know, personality or his, I don't know, just him, I don't because something else arises and I'm like, wow, you're so cool and there's so much to you and I love you. I also love Gansey and Blue. I just love everyone. They're my favorite. Question number four is Sleeping Beauty. Pick a book that put you to sleep. And for that, I'm gonna go with The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black. I I think I ended up giving that book three stars, but looking back on it, the I didn't really like a, anything about it. The only thing I really enjoyed about the book was the diversity, but other than, or and the writing style. I thought the writing style was pretty. But other than that, I really didn't enjoy the storyline. Um, I didn't like how it was so modernized, and also I thought it was very boring. So I, it's a bummer because so many people love that book and I think maybe the hype got to me but I just, there was something about that book that didn't, I don't know, sit well with me, didn't really enjoy it so yes and I was very bored while reading it. Number five is the Lion King. Pick a character who has had a tragic event happen to them in their childhood and there was, there's a lot that I could have chosen because that's usually how a lot of YA books start out. But I decided to go with Liesl Meninga from The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. If you've read this, you know it's like starts off right off the bat. Whoa, bug, get away from me. The reason why I picked Liesl for this question is because of all the events that happened to her in her childhood were very realistic obviously because this actually happened, World War II was, was an actual thing. And um, I just liked how it showed that everyone lost something and everyone had to sacrifice something and I just liked how Liesl dealt with it and also the people in her life 
helps her deal with it and I thought it was very real and beautiful and heartbreaking and wonderful. Question number six is Beauty and the Beast. Pick a beast of a book that you were intimidated by but ended up finding the story beautiful and for that I'm going with the Mistborn trilogy by Mistborn trilogy by Brandon Sanderson. Um, I've only read book one which is The Final Empire and book two which is The Well of Ascension and I have yet to read The Hero of the Ages but I will. I'm kind of just holding off. I don't want it to end. I've heard I've heard amazing things though. But yes, these both are, the whole trilogy is chunky and I was a little bit intimidated by, but I am so, so glad that I did. These books are so unique and different from, oh my God, this bug is driving me nuts. Go home. From what I've read of this trilogy, it is just so incredibly unique and different from everything that I've read and I appreciate that a lot. And I just adore it and I need to complete it. Number seven is Aladdin. Pick a character who gets their wish granted for better or for worse. And for that, I'm going to go with Shazi from The Wrath and the Dawn by Renée Adi. I, if you guys aren't aware, this is a retelling of A Thousand and One Nights where the boy king takes a new bride and executes her by dawn. And uh, Shazi, the main character in this, best friend, was one of the girls who got killed. So Shazi volunteers herself to become the king's bride and she wants to see why he's killing these women and hopefully she succeeds in killing him or that's what she's going in there thinking and that is not without consequences. Things happen and stuff plays out. It's very very good and I definitely recommend this if you guys like this or if this sounds intriguing, pick it up because everything is beautiful in this book. Question number eight is Mulan. Pick a character who pretends to be something they are not. And for that, I'm going to go with Leia or Elia from An Ember in the Ashes by Sahaba Tahir. She pretends to be a servant at this military academy for this awful dictator woman. I forget what they call her. The commander, the con... starts with a C. I don't quite know. But... Um, yes, and she pretends to be this person that she is not, and stuff happens, and it's really, really good. The hype, I think, is well-deserved for this book, and I am so excited for the sequel. Question number nine is Toy Story. Pick a book with characters you wish could come to life, and I would definitely go with Harry Potter for this one, but I am going to not because I usually, I usually could just say Harry Potter for the majority of every question that I ever get, but... I'm going to go different, I'm going to pick a different answer for this, and I'm going to go with the characters, or most of the characters from uh, Miss Peregrine's uh, Peculiar Children series, I, I think that's what this is called, but yes, I definitely love them so much, they are very unique, very peculiar, and I absolutely love them in Hollow City, and I just, I adore them and I would love them to come to life because they have been around for a while and they would know a lot of cool things and a lot of cool history and we could talk about everything they've experienced in their life and it would be so fun and yes, I definitely would pick them. Sorry that the camera may be kind of like switching angles here and there but this keeps falling because I'm holding this up with books. So yes, but the last question is, Disney Descendants, pick your favorite villain or morally ambiguous character. And for that, I'm definitely going to go with Naughty John from The Diviners because Naughty John, you are a terrifying lad and I love you for it, even though you're quite psycho. But Naughty John has this song he likes to sing to his victims before he offs them and I just thought that that was terrifying and amazing and I love when a book can l literally make you scared. If you guys want to read this book definitely hold off till October because it will I think you'll get the full effect of its creepiness then because it's in the creepy month and I loved it so much this is set in the 1920s which was really awesome and just an amazing villain amazing amazing amazing. So that was the Disney book tag a lot of people here on booktube have done it so if you haven't and you want to I personally tag you and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you have a wonderful day night wherever you are I hope you're having a good time and I will see you in my next video bye I am alive.